in the next few minutes I'll be placing baby chicks into this pan and the question is what do they need in this video we are going to answer that question let's look at some of the preparations that I've got in place first the pan has to be heated to at least 33 degrees and it should not be less than 28 degrees Celsius because they need this they cannot serve regular their body temperatures and they need this so after heating you need the sensors or thermometers which you see now one right here hanging I have them distributed within the band to be able to tell when the temperature is ideal also I have a relative humidity sensor this is the entrance how I'm going to get them in is through this entrance so they will be taken in carefully through this entrance and this video will cover everything that they need and their first seven days so the first and the best feed for day old chicks is crumbles it should be between two and three millimeters and make sure that it is placed low enough for chicks to assess it and that it covers at least 70 percent of your brooder so to achieve that i'm using supplementary feed lines next to the main feed lines by the time they are 10 days they will switch to the main feed lines the next important aspect to consider is water make sure that you have clean portable water available for them if you use water lines let the height be at the height that is suitable for the chicks if you have spot drinkers make sure that they are also suitable for your chicks they should not be in a situation where they can drown your chicks or the chicks cannot drink from it the next thing that I need, I need a scale to be able to tell if the chicks are doing all right with their weight within the first seven days. So now the chicks are in. Once you place your day old chicks, make sure that everything they need is available before they arrive. Once they are in, give them at least two hours for them to settle, to discover the feet, to discover the water. They don't need stress panics or frightening within this period so you have to stay out just make sure the environmental conditions within are conducive and then when you will make your first visit into your bands after two hours watch out for the distribution of the chicks their distribution is very important it tells you whether the environment is conducive or not if they are evenly distributed it means they enjoy the environment they don't prefer one place to the other everywhere is good and they should be on the water and on the feet lines you should observe the activity in the house how active they are uh, whether they are eating whether they have found the feet and the water actually it's very easy for anybody to brood their old chicks the key is to stay organized if you use water lines like I do one very easy way to understand if the birds have discovered the water or not is if you find water in the collectors that are beneath the water nipples like you see in this case but if you don't have water lines the next example is even more better for you if you use spot drinkers you should see the birds drinking okay you should see the chicks drinking water that means they have discovered the water source and it's a very good thing one of the main reasons why care and management is very important within the first seven days is because it determines what your results will look like at the end of six weeks you can be sure that if they are off to a very good start you will have very good results at the end of 40 to 42 days now let's look at a few important things to take note of during your management within the first seven days you are expected to adjust the height of your water lines or drinkers and the height of your feeders or feed lines to match the needs of the chicks with each passing day as they grow also you must continue to keep an eye on the distribution of your chicks 
in order to understand their welfare and how comfortable they are and take note of their activities, how much feed they are consuming, how much water they are consuming, what volume they are adding on a daily basis. This is very important to tell you if they are progressing. Also adjusting the water lines makes it easier for the chicks to drink and to feed without stress. Early emergence of these white feathers on their wings, which usually occurs between the third and the fifth day, is a very good sign of the chick's growth. Now, as concerns the regulation of the height of your feet pants, always make sure that they are at a height where the birds or chicks can feed comfortably when they stand on their feet. From the feed pants. That will ensure that they feed properly and at the same time they don't spill out the feet. Another very important thing to watch out for with the development and growth of your cheeks is the healing process of their navels. Within the feet and the seat day, their navels should be at least 75 to 80 percent healed. You should have at least 75 to 80 percent of all your cheeks healed so if it's not healed it's a good time to invite your veterinary doctor the condition of your floors also is very important they should not be wet or muddy they should be friable and dry this will ensure that bacteria does not multiply because water on the floor is a promoting factor for their multiplication and if this happens when your cheeks are not fully healed at their navels, bacteria will get access into their gut through their navels, and this will be problematic in the long run. If it is not bacteria, water will combine with the nitrates that is in the waste that the cheeks are producing and you will have accumulation of ammonia within the ban or your poultry house or coop. So it's very important to limit how much water you are letting go to your floors. From time to time, you will also have to take the weights of your chicks to know how they are doing. For example, here you find chicks going on the scale and their weight is recorded on the controller for this house which you will see shortly towards the end of this video to confirm the benefits of these simple guidelines and principles on the age and weight gain displayed on the controller screen. If chicks are managed properly following these guidelines, by the time there are 7 days, the anevils will be completely healed and they should be weighing at least 189 grams or 190 why not 200 however one more very important point to note is that you have to ventilate your bands or poultry coop or house properly and provide chicks with the best temperature for which i created another video titled the best temperature for broiler chickens you might want to check that out as well now, this is the controller of the birds we have just seen at 7 days. As you see on the controller screen, it shows day 7 and the time is 9 o'clock in the evening. So they now weigh 194 grams. And this is not the weight taken from one or two chickens, okay? Like you will see their weight, it's the weight taken for at least 3,370 chickens inside. So it's representative of the number of birds that we have in this house, which is 17,000. Now, I'm going to show you another controller for another house. So the chicks in this shed are also seven days old. They are now... 189 grams as you see and we've weighed 2700 plus and this is 6 p.m. in the evening so 
in a couple of hours they should be close to 200 as well thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and check out my channel for more follow-up videos